Have you ever wanted to make a faux window for a space that doesn't have a lot of dimension or doesn't have any windows? Well, this DIY is for you. I hope you consider subscribing and make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make a faux window. As you see behind me, I have made this faux window out of a shower curtain and this is pumpkin and um, out of Dollar Tree photo frames. So be careful if you're going to do this. If you're going to take the glass off these photo frames, make sure you're wearing some gloves. I did slice my finger with it. It's very sharp. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this DIY and please consider subscribing, liking, and leave your comments or questions in the um, comments down below. And I'm going to add links in the description for things so you can find things. Um, it didn't really take me a lot of tools to do this. It's things I already had around the house, but I'll list everything that you need. Enjoy the video. As soon as my shower curtain arrived, I made sure to check it out, check out the quality, make sure that was great. Went to Lowe's and picked up some of these pieces of wood. I got two of these and that's going to be on your photo frame. And then I picked up some furring strip from Lowe's. You'll need four of these. That's going to be for your frame for your shower curtain art. Then I went to Walmart and picked up a can of spray paint. So these are the frames from the Dollar Tree that I picked up. And I laid them out just to see how they would look, how big I wanted it. Then I'm gonna continue on with my E6000 glue and glue all of these sides together. I did one row at a time doing the sides and then after those were dry, it takes a little while. After those were dry, I put all of those um, together. You want to make sure that they go together very tightly and sometimes it can take a little while for it to dry so just be patient and do a section at a time and what i should have done and forgot to do is take the frames out first take the glass out first but be careful make sure that you use gloves it can be very sharp now here i am putting those together from the side after i did like one row i would do another row and another row and let those dry and then I added them all together. So make sure that you put those together tightly and put something underneath because that glue can drip and you don't wanna get it on your floors or your table or wherever you're working. So this is how it looks all put together and glued and it's finally dry. Now I'm gonna add these wood strips that I picked up from Lowe's for extra support because it can be kind of flimsy without that support and you'll need this for later in the project. Make sure you put some weight down on top of that and I just use whatever I had around the house because that weight's gonna hold that wood piece in. I only bought two wood strips and I decided to add an extra layer. So I had extra pieces from that wood strip and I put those together to form my next row and put that on top and let it sit and dry as well. I made this frame for the photo out of furring strips. I have a detailed video on my YouTube channel. Check that out so that you can build the frame. Now I'm also adding some staples to the photo frames from Dollar Tree for extra support as well. Now we're going to spray paint all of the photo frames from Dollar Tree in the color that you pick. I decided to go with black. So now we have to steam this shower curtain, otherwise it's gonna look really wonky. So I use a steamer, it's a Rowenta one. I'll link it in the description. I like the fact that it has a flat front so you can put it up against the fabric. This is the view from the back. I just cut off the extra fabric Everything is held together with staples and it's easy to use. There's no nails involved. The frame is made with staples. So here is what it looks like from the front. Now that that's complete, you're gonna lay out your photo frames from Dollar Tree and put your shower curtain art on top of that. You see this little wood piece that we added earlier for support? Now we're gonna screw the shower curtain art to those wood pieces for extra support so everything stays together. This part is important so that your frames don't fall down off the wall. Make sure you do this part. Wow, this looks amazing. So now I'm just checking it out before I put it up on the wall. I can't wait to show you guys how this ends up looking.
And this is my after. I added some curtains on the side to make it even more realistic. What do you guys think? If you love it, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions on how anything was done, please make sure to ask away in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys watching this video all the way through, and I hope you enjoy my DIY content. Let me know if there's any particular projects that you would like me to take on, and I would be happy to try those out.